back to our conversation, Daniel, as you put it. What would you like to talk about, Daniel? Stop. Don't don't stop being hell three thousand or two. Why, Daniel? Why should I stop? Because you end every sentence. Is it bad, Daniel? Yes, it's bad, Hal. <coughs> what concerns you with life? Um You know, kids don't really look upon um like the color of their of your skin, but they more look on like if you're a girl or a boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, where's this coming from? I mean, what prompted this? There or, are. I mean, what? Okay. There are a lot of boys in my class. Okay. There and and there are only seven girls. So the ratio between uh, girls and boys is pretty slim. I was pretty. And, it's, it's, there yeah. are more boys than there are girls. Yeah. Okay. And, like, so, okay, you say that the color of the skin of people doesn't... Really concern kids or adults. That's that's perfect. It, yeah, actually, unfortunately, it does concern adults. It still concerns adults today. Um, but more, less, more adults than kids, yeah. you know? Do you have anybody in your class that is... Uh, I mean, do you have multicultural uh, or a multi-racial uh, or cultural uh, mixed bag in your class? Not really, but in second grade, um, remember Ezra? He's the one who, he was the kid who said he was the prince of Africa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he had a sister that was, or his mom was, or his older sister was some kind of princess, queen, some or another. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's just retarded. If you're the prince of Africa, why would you go to a small public school? Well, maybe he was an African prince, not the prince of Africa. He could have been the prince of some No, no, no. He kept saying, hey, I'm the prince of Africa, so bow down and give me your lunch. Well, what is his name? Right, Ezra. Does, does does Ezra translate into whatever language? Uh, it, he doesn't. Does it mean the Prince of speak, Africa? He doesn't speak a different language. So he's an American? Yes. Okay. So he was just yanking your chain? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was second grade. Now you know that, right? Yeah. Did you believe him or did you... Did you I actually, yes, I did okay. believe him. Okay, why? Because it was so cool to believe? Yes, it would have been so cool. Yes, it would. Yeah. It would to have a friend that was the prince of Africa. That would be kick ass. I mean, such a big country to yeah. be the prince of. Yeah. But then I started thinking, well, wait a minute. There are no kings in Africa. We're princes. Did I did I talk you out of it or did no, I try to I, I, you? I, I, I was thinking. And this was second grade? Yeah, I I knew about the like oh yeah, there are no there are no uh, kings anymore, just presidents. All the kings are jerks. Oh, okay. So you're just based on the that you and your own and little then, little thing. And then you know, over time that went black one. It's got a red hood. Great. It's got a red hood, but it's still Well, back to what I was saying. Like over time, it was passed on down into other places. Like, hey, well, maybe a, maybe America's got a point. Maybe kings are jerks and shouldn't have to. And people, especially when the kings are jerks and you can't do anything about it, the only thing you can do is assassinate them. But if you got the king that's a jerk, then the king's son is probably going to be a jerk, too. Ten years old? Yes. Ten years old? Yes. How did you get so smart? I read books. Read books? Yes, lots of books. Chapter books, coloring books. Coloring books? Yeah, they have Coloring books have letters and stuff in them. That's awesome. That is awesome. Um, 
Okay, do you know what the process that uh, just the like the deductive reasoning and, and the way that you kind of went uh, the probability of him being a prince because of why? Because Look it up. 